Let's draw the Lewis structure for C2H2. This is acetylene. It's also called ethyne. That's the IUPAC name. To start out with Lewis structures, we count the total number of valence electrons. And the periodic table can be really helpful for that. So we find carbon right here, group 14, sometimes called 4A, that has four valence electrons. We have the two carbon atoms. And then hydrogen right here, group one, all of these elements here have one valence electron. We have two hydrogen atoms. So we have eight plus two. That gives us a total of 10 valence electrons for the C2H2 Lewis structure. Normally we put the least electronegative atom in the center, but hydrogens always go on the outside. So we're gonna put two carbons with hydrogens on the outside, like this. Next, we're gonna put a pair of electrons between atoms to form the chemical bond. We put two between the carbon and the hydrogen. And then here, we form the chemical bonds between atoms. We've used two, four, six of the 10 valence electrons. Now we can complete the octets on the outside atoms, except hydrogens, they only need two valence electrons, so they're okay. Let's complete the octets on the carbons until we use our 10 valence electrons. So at this point, two, four, six, eight, 10, we've used all our valence electrons. Hydrogens are good, but each carbon only has six valence electrons. What we can do is if the central atom does not have an octet, we can move electrons to form a double or a triple bond. Let's do that. Let's move these two down here. And now this carbon has eight and this has six. So we're doing better. Let's move this pair down as well. So now each carbon has eight, each hydrogen has two. We've only used 10 valence electrons. This is the Lewis structure for C2H2, acetylene. If we wanted to look at the molecular geometry, that would be linear since these are all in a line here bond angle 180 degrees. Often you'll see the triple bond as three lines, with each line representing a pair of electrons. But either way, this is the Lewis structure for C2H2, acetylene or ethyne. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.